Hello! Today we'll be guiding you step by step in putting together and operating an IGR 100 plant. The IGR 100 plant is a modular, self contained gold recovery system. It uses classification and enhanced gravity to assure recovery of the finest gold material and the largest gold nuggets. The IGR 100 plant consists of the following pieces of equipment. I-150 Gravity Concentrator, Eye Pump, Eye Screen, Mini Grizzly and Sluice, Control Station. To begin the IGR 100 installation, we will need the following tools on hand. Monkey Wrench, Socket Wrench, Crowbar, Hammer, Screwdriver. The IGR 100 will arrive shipped in three separate containers. Carefully disassemble each container and remove the individual equipment pieces. Each primary unit comes with a variable frequency drive and the necessary bolts and materials to connect all components together. Identify a safe location to operate the IGR plant and refer to the provided engineering drawings and photos for the standard configuration and layout of the plant. The plant needs to be orientated so that the outlet of the screen feeds into the pump. The saluce attaches to the tail's outlet of the concentrator. The screen must be located with the finger grizzly above the saluce. The control station includes the water distribution manifold. The large barb on the left hand side is the clean water connection. Using the large diameter hose supply, connect the large valve from the manifold to the brass barb on the concentrator. Using the small diameter hose supply, connect two valves to the matched size barbs on the screen. Open the valves sufficiently for the spray to fan across the full width of the screen. There is an additional valve included on the distribution manifold. Mount the three DFDs on the stand using the nuts and bolts supplied. Using the supplied three conductor wire, cut three lengths to fit from the distribution box to each of the DFDs. Use the remaining three conductor wire to connect the user supply to the distribution box. Inside of the distribution box, join the four green wires together using wire nuts and electrical tape. Join each of the other matching colors together using wire nuts and electrical tape. Join the three conductor supply wires inside of each VFD. As the electrical plugs add room for error, it is recommended to test each item connected directly to the VFD prior to using the plugs or sockets. On the pump, press the green start button and use the arrow to set the hertz to 10. As you look down on the pump, it must rotate clockwise. This means the slurry will be thrown in the direction of the pump outlet. If the rotation is not correct, simply swap the connection for any two of the three wires from the VFD to the pump motor. Do not operate the pump for any longer than required to verify the rotation without water. Test the concentrator by pressing the green button and using the arrow to rotate to 10 Hz. On the screen, press the green button on the VFD to start vibration. Use the arrows to increase the vibration to its maximum. Test a small amount of sand on the screen. If the wet material seems to bounce downhill, then change the rotation of the motor by swapping any two of the three wires from the VFD to the screen. The multi-step process used in this instructional video is the best way to optimize gold recovery However, the icon can be used as a standalone unit as well. Turn the water on and set the back pressure for the icon to 17 psi. After setting the speed and water pressure, you're ready to start the speed to the icon. To begin, gather your material and prepare the ice screen. Running the ice screen at 24 Hz will ensure enough screen vibration. Open the spray bar valve and begin to shovel dry material directly onto the ice screen to separate the fine feed from the oversized material. 
as you can see the oversized material comes out over top of the screen while the finer materials filter through and report the underflow chute. The material is transferred by the eye pump to the feed inlet of the eye cone. Mixing the material with water will help move through the hopper and piping more easily. The tailing, which is a lighter, lower density material, will come off the front of the icon. The heavier material collects in the riffles of a spinning basket inside the machine. After 30 minutes of running, stop the screen and eye pump. Place an empty 20 liter bucket under the concentrate outlet of the icon and then reduce the VFD for the concentrator to 2 Hz. Reduce the bowl pressure to 5 psi while the bowl is decelerating. When the concentrator has slowed down, carefully open the hand valve for the rinse wand. There are several methods of processing Icon concentrate. Hand the concentrate and sell directly to a smelter, the grade is high enough. Another option is to run the concentrate over a shaking table. These steps will ensure maximum gold recovery. Results will vary depending on your specific materials. 